chose to study data science because I think it's a really relevant field. It's something which is growing all the time, so there's more and more data, and that means there's more opportunities for things you can do with it, and I think that's a really exciting prospect, so that's something that I wanted to get into. The thing that interests me most about data science is the impact that I can bring into the organisations that I'll be working for. For instance, I have done my undergraduate in information technology and it focused more on the web development aspects of it. But data science gives me a way to help those organisations with the help of the insights that I gain from their data sets. Um, well, I actually really like to code and I really want to apply that to real world situations to be able to make some kind of a difference. And there's a lot of data that's um, just generated by humans daily but we can give a meaning to it by organising it well. Something which interests me a lot about data science is machine learning, so that's a topic I'm really interested in. Um, I think it's really kind of um, exciting all the opportunities that there can be with it. So, for example, finding new materials, finding kind of um, healthcare solutions, it can be applied to all sectors of life really um, in order to make them more efficient and more accessible. And I think that's a really exciting prospect. There's also a lot of social sciences and ethics involved and to really understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. So to me it's very interesting and helps me become a more curious person. Something I really enjoy about the course is how you can apply everything you've learned. So it's not just theory, you do actually get to try out the things that you learn. Um, so that includes kind of coding and trying out lots of different programming languages. When I joined the programme I hadn't done any coding before so it was a really good way for me to kind of get a foot in the door with it and to begin practising using it which is something which will hopefully be really useful in the future as well. There has been a concept of the DIKW pyramid or the Data Information Knowledge and Wisdom Pyramid and it showcases the journey that data goes through in an organisation to become wisdom. The staff, the education facilities have been perfect for me and uh, they have perfectly guided me into this journey of data. Data science can aid sustainability by using algorithms to predict um, future trends in sustainability. So we might think about global warming um, and about other kind of social factors in sustainability as well. Um, so in terms of solutions, there can be some really useful things that come out of data science with, uh, with regards to sustainability. So for example, machine learning can be used to find new carbon capture materials, which is really exciting. Um, we can also look at kind of ways to preserve um, ecosystems with machine learning. There's just plenty of opportunities for it to be applied to um, introducing technologies, really new technologies, which will be hopefully revolutionary in helping with sustainability. The Information School invests a lot uh, in students' education and learning facilities. Well, the library facilities are very resourceful. There are multiple uh, reading options available. There are uh, free access and paid access technical papers available. And software facilities are also available. Apart from that, you get your own library account which you can use to get those books and the services. The university also has many learning facilities, printing facilities, computers and free Wi-Fi across the campus. So there has been a lot of effort taken by the school to provide you with an excellent learning environment. Something I love about Sheffield is how close it is to the Peak District. So um, I really like kind of getting out in nature um, and going walking. And it's really nice that it's just a short drive or a short bus ride away if you want to get kind of out of the city just for a day. Um, something else I would say is there's a lot of little independent shops and independent cafes and that can be quite nice and it kind of makes you feel like there's a good amount of culture here and kind of new and interesting things to do. It's a student friendly city, so therefore many students from different parts of the world are living here. So I can experience many different cultures here and the city is very green. It's probably the greenest city in the country. So I get to experience that freshness of nature as well as we had benefits from the technology and the benefits the university is offering to me. There's a lot of support that the university offers to students. So the first thing that comes to my mind is the well-being service. Um, that is really there to ensure that all students are happy, secure and they feel comfortable uh, in the university. So you can reach out to them if you feel like um, there's something bothering you. 
and uh, all students that get registered are automatically assigned a person from the department uh, as the personal tutor so they can help you with um, things regarding to your subject and even personal stuff. If there's somebody who has a disability um, that affects their studies um, or the, their time at the university, they can also contact the uh, Disability and Dyslexia Support Service. Yeah, I do a part-time job. I actually have two. I work at the University of Sheffield as a student ambassador and I work in a, ca in a cafe as well. So I do two part-time jobs. It is not exactly difficult to manage uh, having two jobs because firstly you are permitted to do 20 hours a week uh, on an average it would amount to two days of your week so you still have five different days of your week to uh, focus on your studies and your assignments so it's pretty easy to handle two jobs at a time. In the future I'd like to pursue a career in data science. Um, I'd really like to make a difference using data science tools within um, public and social factors, so whether that's within the civil service or within kind of non-profit organisations. So I'm very interested in football and my dissertation uh, topic involves predictive analysis of premiership table using machine learning algorithms. So I hope to get into this field and maybe become a data scientist for the Premier League club as well. So. Well, I hope to be a very curious data scientist. I think that's one quality that will help me grow more into the field. And um, that way I can contribute a little bit to the society from my side with my insights.